Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Superstition Wilderness. I'm on the Dutchman's Trail right now, heading east. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could get paid to go hiking? I guess it's kind of a dream of mine. Indirectly already, I guess I am paid to hike, at least to some extent, but I think that would be so awesome if right now, someone was actually paying me to be out here. There are probably way more professional hikers out there than I realize. Yeah, dream on, I know, dream on. But hey, I'm still young at heart. I tend to daydream and think about stuff like that. But I also do really enjoy staying in reality. Right now, just being out here, the reality right in front of me is definitely beautiful. It is early October. Forecast today in Apache Junction is 100 degrees. I started at 11 o'clock or 11 at 5. And I can already tell I'm, I'm just going a little too fast. I need to just slow down and pace myself and take my time. There's no rush today. As much as I love getting to the top of mountains, it's nice every once in a while just to walk among them too. So there's Palomino Mountain and Blacktop Mesa, uh, just past Weaver's Needle, and then Malapace Mountain over here. Black Mesa is back a little further over that way. Well, I've reached my furthest point here. I'm still on the Dutchman's Trail, but I think I'm gonna retrace my route back on the Dutchman's Trail. Just take my time and get some more shots. Enjoy the scenery. Find some shade when I need to. This is really beautiful just in here in this basin, looking up at the different peaks. I mean, it's nice everywhere, don't get me wrong, but there's, there's a little something about this that's pretty neat. I just passed the saddle, the high point of the hike today. And I should have about 2.6 miles back now. I'm really enjoying this hike. It's warm, but still definitely manageable. Yeah, it would be awesome to be a professional hiker, to actually be paid to be doing this right now. I mean, I would, I'm still at the point where I would pay to do it, but just think of having that in reverse. That would be pretty neat. I think about all the people that have come before me, both you know, my ancestors and others, who have worked their tails off to give us all the luxuries that we have now in modern society. Basically my job as a personal trainer is to combat the negative effects of modern society and what it's done to people's health and metabolisms and bodies. It's, you know, both a blessing and a curse to a lot of people. I understand really truly what the cause of the problem is. I'm gonna to get to that in another video. There's one thing that you have to not necessarily master, but you have to embrace to be able to get to the point where you're no longer you know, a slave to, to your addictions, I guess. It's tough, but one of the ways that I've been fortunate throughout my life to you know, stay lean and stay fit is just that I've always had a physical mindset. I've just always wanted to do physical activity no matter what it is. And over the past eight years, I guess now, it's really just translated into hiking and climbing mountains. I would definitely change a lot about my, I guess, early adult years, teenage years. But one of the main things I would change would, would be I would have just hiked and climb mountains right away. I wish I would have discovered this when I was you know, 15 years old instead of, I guess, really 35 or 36 or whatever. It's nice to have a little bit of shade now. Other than being pretty thirsty right now, I feel pretty good. It's good to accomplish somewhat of a hot weather hike. Definitely 
It's not as hot as it could be, but for October 1st or October 6th or whatever it is, it's pretty warm. All right, that's it from the first water trailhead. Just a base scout and back hike to the base of Blacktop Mesa. It's about nine miles, three hours and 45 minutes. I think it's about 800 feet of elevation gain, so nothing crazy. But if you are dreaming about accomplishing a certain hike, just keep your dream in mind while you work hard at it. Keep working, keep plugging away, keep doing what you have to do to prepare for it and you'll get there. Hopefully, dreams will work out, dreams will come true. I do definitely my share of daydreaming. But like I said, I like to stay grounded in reality as much as possible and the best way to do that for me anyway is getting out here, one of the best ways. There's a lot of awesome hikes out there and a lot of awesome peaks waiting to be accomplished. And if you want it, you can do it. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.